because this is a homage to me. Hey, fuckers, Gaming Another Neck here. So, what are some of the things that I encountered with and the issues that I had to face when I was trying to become an officer? By the way, shout out to you, Tyler R. Well, here's my story. I obviously didn't go officer, I went enlisted, but I, I have had tried to become an officer at one point in my life. And this was when when I was in high school, my junior year in high school, I went to recruiter because I didn't know who to go to. I had to talk about this issue. I went to the recruiter and told her like, hey, I'm 16 right now and I'm thinking about becoming an officer. And I was like, I was wondering like, hey, are you able to help me out with that at all? And she was like, yeah, sure. Uh, just come back to me when you're 17 and we can start talking. I was like, all right, cool. So while I was waiting to become freaking 17 years old, I was looking up information on how, how to become a Marine Corps officer. And it was a pain to ask because for those, of, for those of you who are new to my channel, and you, I just want you guys to understand or actually go back to my older videos and watch, you know, kind of like the culture that I come from, the family that I come from, and the issues that I had with uh, joining the military. Maybe you guys can relate and it can help you out. But um, for those of you who are already here, I'll just, you know, kind of give you guys a little reminder. So basically, I come from a culture where, you know, obviously military is not like, that's kind of looked down upon and you don't do it unless you're like a game member or whatever, right? Um, but however, becoming an officer was a different story, okay? Becoming an officer was like, oh my gosh, like so, so honorable, so freaking cool. You know, girls are drop, be dropping their panties for you, basically, okay? And... So that was the only way for me to communicate with my parents about me becoming an officer. And I like to take my parents into consideration because one, they raised me and two, you know, they spent a lot of the time and effort and a lot of pain into making money for the family. So, you know, I I think of them too, you know, they they gave me this life. I think I should be, I should give back to them too. Uh, maybe some of you guys may not understand, but that's also a cultural thing. You're supposed to give back to, you know, your parents who raised you. So I like to, take into consideration so i was like you know hey i told him like hey you know i want to become a marine corps officer and at the same time you know i could still get an education you know and they heard that like oh cool you know uh, we didn't want you to do military at you know at all but you know becoming an officer sounds pretty dope where you're able to get your education and i told him about the nrtc scholarship that i was trying to apply for too it's like hey you know i have a potential of getting the scholarships and i already hit up a recruiter and she says she, you know, hit me back up or hit her back up. It was my recruiter was a female marine. Um, she told me to hit her back up when I was turning when I turned 17. So when I, once I turned 17, I went down back down to the freaking recruiting office, you know, all fucking motivated and shit. And I was like, hey, I'm ready to start an application. She said, all right, cool. You know, she gave. I think she. I, it was either that I went online and I found the application or she gave it to me. But anyways, let's just, let's put it this way. She probably gave it to me, I don't know. Um, but she gave me the application and I was super stoked to fill it out. You know, I was answering all the questions and at the end of the application, they'll ask you a um, freaking, they'll give you a prompt for an essay, okay? And I wrote the essay and my recruiter reviewed it and she sent it up to the headquarters and the headquarters reviewed it and after they reviewed it, they told me to come in for an interview. And I was nervous as shit because, you know, it was my first time, basically my first time seeing like Marine Corps officers and other Marines walking around and stuff like that. But you, you go on all formal, I dressed up as a professional businessman looking dude, you know, in a suit and they ask you serious questions during an interview and depending on how you answer it and how they like you, they, they'll give you the scholarship. And the scholarship, they don't give it out, you know, easily. So for my personal experience, I'm not saying it's in every single scenario. For my personal experience, the people that got the scholarship were people who were like either adopted or didn't come from so much of a privileged family because those questions that they ask you in the, in the essay they tell you to write basically i think they want to figure out what kind of background you come from and and you know what your life story is so those are the guys who got that scholarship so i i didn't become an officer so i was pretty bummed out to get a scholarship because i thought you know i was i was hoping i would get it you know so i was like you know what maybe there's other options out there and there and there is so I started looking out, you know, online, seeing which colleges offer Navy ROTC because to become an officer in the Marines, you got to go through Navy ROTC. There is another way, but I'm going to explain it later in the video. Basically, you find a college that offers Navy ROTC, blah, 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 
and uh, you do the, you do your four years, you pay for your own stuff, like your tuition and everything, and you get commissioned out as an officer. But there also is also another way where you can go through PLC, which is platoon leaders course. And I'm not too sure how it works, but you don't have to go to a college that offers, you know, Navy ROT. You can just do it at the same time while you're doing other shit at your college. Um, I didn't go down that route because one, I didn't, I, I, I don't, I became enlisted obviously. And I want to do enlisted first because just kind of the reputation I came with it and then become an officer. It's like, you know, Hey, I'm gonna go enlisted first as a reservist, go to college and then become an officer. Obviously that dream is fucking smashed. I don't, I don't want to do that no more. I'm planning on staying enlisted, you know, I'll tell you guys later. But, um, so I didn't go through the NRTC. I didn't go through the PLC course at all. So I can't really tell you much about it. Um, but at this, but all I know is at the same time, you're just be just being a regular student and still having to practice becoming an officer, um, and training and all that. And I have friends who actually went through that option where they went enlisted as a reservist, they came out and now one of them is finishing OCS. So I Tyler, you know, if you really want to become an officer, go for it. And in my opinion, I think you should enlist first, which you are, you're leaving June 12th. Um, and experience with how the Marine Corps life on the enlisted side. That way, when you become an officer, you will be you will be a better officer, in my opinion, because you would be able to understand what we go through as enlisted, and that way you can lead better in the front. So I hope I answered your question. Those are some of the issues that I went through when I was trying to become an officer, uh, and I don't plan on becoming an officer, and I'll explain in another video. But right now, I just want to stay enlisted, and I hopefully. I can deploy soon or anytime soon or, or anytime in my career. And if I don't, I might re-enlist. But like I said in my previous video about political correctness and all that, I don't know if I want to because of the stupid political bullshit that's going on and the stuff that I just don't agree with, to be honest. But um, I'm going to try to see what I can do in my enlisted ciphers, do, do what I want to do in my enlisted career as a reservist. And then I want to see if I want to become an officer. But as of right now, I don't plan on doing it. So I hope you, I hope that answered your question, Tyler. So, and, and some of you guys that are actually watching this video, if you guys have the video, thumbs up. If you guys didn't, thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. Stay sharp. Be safe. And remember, go play these skills. Thanks for watching. Oorah.